All right, so we have Ancient Dungeon. It's a VR roguelike dungeon crawler game. This is probably one of the better games that are in beta right now for the side quest. I recommend this. Give this a try. The guy wants to add like 17 levels in total. There's, he just added, I think, one more. And he changed a lot from the last uh, edition. And a new patch just came out, so I have to give that a try. But there's tons of items that you can get. They all change your stats in the game. They also even change the dungeon themselves. Um, you have a throwing knife. There's a bow. There's a hammer that I haven't found yet, but I've seen it. <coughs> and there's magical pots that you can throw like grenades. There's two types of um, currency. The dungeon currency is pretty much gold. And you go to these vendors right here. There's one on every level. And you can buy shit. You can't sell anything. You can also kill them, but if you kill them, he doesn't come back and his stuff doesn't return and there, you can see the pus bomb explode and fucking kill them outright. So for that level you're fucked. This is a hidden vendor that you can use the copper coins to uh, to buy. So you have adventurers that are captured inside the uh, dungeons and they random generate. You find them, you free them, you take your copper coins and you go to the that beginning outside area, that staging area. And you can buy shit from them, so when you go into the game, you're a little bit more powerful than going in, like, bare naked. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much the, the main thing. The graphics aren't bad. There are some graphical glitches. There is a bug that when you sometimes exit the game, uh, or when you finish the boss level, it crashes, and you'll see that later. But there's tons of different bad guys, zombies, there's a couple different types of like jumping slimes. Uh, depending on what map you are, they're a little bit, they're pretty much the same, but they're different. Like they'll shoot acid faster, like this gold blob. Now, I've beaten the three levels probably like four or five times. And I'll say after the second run through of everything, on the third run, everything started to change because you start getting so much gear and, and all the items you get. Like I said, some of the items, you can make the dungeon smaller or bigger. And the bigger the dungeons get, the, the more wild and uh, even for like the, like this is the um, overgrown dungeon. This is the first like dungeon level that you go through. Real fucking simple, real easy. But after that third or fourth run, like they start adding so many more monsters and shit it it, it makes the um, the simpler easier levels a lot more engaging and it, it seems uh, a lot it's really cool with the, the random gen and there was the ancient giant coins and the apples you get uh you just eat them for health and i believe you get steaks too but you don't see a lot i haven't seen a lot of steaks sometimes the vendor like sells them but there's also like little like um the little upgrades you get will say like um we'll add coins to every time you break a uh, pot or you're more likely to get food when you break pots and shit because you're going to definitely need health especially you know after like the third map things heat up a lot more with some of the bad guys and like i said as you keep going through the dungeons constantly change you go from maybe going down a hallway and dealing with like one monster to going down a hallway and dealing with like three or four different types and having them clustered together really makes the, the game fun. These are supposed to be bats. They look like birds. But they're like little kamikaze motherfuckers. Breaking the pots is so satisfying. You can knock down the uh, the lamps and shit. Some of the enemies are just there as like... Like the flower guys who spit four ways. They're not really a threat. But when there's other shit in there, they become like just something you have to worry about. And you only have three health unless you get like the upgrades. The first dude who's out there in the starting area with five coins, you can get, you could buy something from him where he unlocks more more items that you can just find in the dungeon. And one of those is like adding more hearts to you. So I've gotten, I think, up to like, I know I've gotten four, maybe five extra hearts, like total. You can also get items that will like sacrifice a heart slot for more damage. I've gotten an item that took away my throwing knife and gave me just a sword, but made my sword like fucking really good. And some of the boss, like this guy is a mini boss, 
can only chop him in the like his left leg, like at the knee, or his well, his right. But you know he's missing some armor on the knee, and then he's got like his other foot on the other leg. There's there's like old school like um like boss fights where you have to block a sword, and then when the sword is like vibrating, you got to hit the guy in the face. Um, there's some cool little like um like old school. You know, I guess boss fights and, and like little ways you have to kill people. It's it's pretty clever. It's nothing new, but it's all done very well and, and you know pretty clever. The lighting effects are really good. The sound effects are really good. You might hear some of the shit break later after I hit it. That's because the way the fucking quest records shit. Uh, there's tons of traps. The spike traps are some of my favorite. They will hurt the enemy too. They will fuck you up in them. Mimic! These motherfuckers are the bane of my existence. You know, when you only have... You know, it's not hard getting away from any of the monsters. But when you only have three hearts, and then this motherfucker comes and sideswipes you. And then you get hit on a fucking trap or something stupid. These I fucking hate doing. It, it freaks me out. I hate any kind of jungle gym shit in VR. I fucking died twice on these. Uh, this, I hate the, like, the high, like, nothing under your feet's the worst fucking feeling. But there's tons of, like, little stuff like this. And it, it really, it breaks up the game, but it doesn't slow the game down, like, at all. It's, it's really fun. And every map, this is, like, a, a mini boss fight, but every map has, like, an end boss fight. And some of them, they're better. He had a, a giant plant that was really easy. But it, it was a cool idea, but it, to me it was just too simple, and he changed all those since the last patch. So, you know, that's, to me, that's a, a the guy is listening, and, you know, he's only one dude, but he really cares. Lots of uh, plants that spit acid are like little fireballs, and they home. I like killing the plants. The blobs, the big blobs are sons of bitches. The acid traps again. I don't know whether they're plus some kind of plant, some shit. But you can also use them against your enemies. So. Yeah. Fighting the zombies is fun. I like fighting the skeletons. Uh, this is, I think, this is like the withered dungeon. This is probably one of my, my favorite dungeons. The skeletons get real fast and they jump at you, but you can knock them out of the air. And this, like. This big room you see, this is, again, this is after like the third time of clearing it all out. Because you just keep going in a circle and keep getting shit. And the dungeons get bigger and bigger depending if you're if you're picking up those coins or not. Or the items that make your uh, dungeon bigger. But there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the monsters are the same. But each level they do something a little bit different. There's exploding versions of these maggots that are really cool. The books are fun. You can also use the, the sword like a paddle. And you can shoot back a lot of the pro energy projectiles. These blobs I fucking hate. They're like damage sponge. And on top of that, sometimes they can... I, I've seen them drop up the three fucking little s slimes when you kill them. The blue guys are the fucking worst. All the like spirit monsters. The spirit versions are faster and they... They fucking shoot more shit. I wish the enemy was a little bit more aggressive. Like, you can kind of step out of their, I guess, their line of sight. Oh, the Lost Souls. These guys, they're pretty much Lost Souls from Doom. They're, they're fucking my favorite. They're my favorite. I walked into a room with these sons of bitches, and there was like four or five, and I wish I recorded it. And, uh, it fucking freaked me out so bad, because they were coming from all different directions and shit. And most of the enemies one on one won't give you that much of a problem. I like the throwing knife. Again, uh, you can see there's two blades I'm throwing when I throw it because you can get the double blade. Your main blade will go to where it's supposed to go, and then the double blade usually drops a little bit or goes a little bit to the right. Um, also, if you have like 
zero gravity effects with the knives. You see how there's a little bit of arch with zero gravity, you can just launch it like a fucking missile. I just love the Lost Souls. One of them fucking tagged me. And that's, that's the, the shit right there, like, two or three guys will come at you and one of them just has to tag you. And then you see you got on fire because the knife, the knife has the fire effect. Um, here's like how you find some of the hidden shit. There's always like fucked up walls. I think with that one, that was a glitch, like the wrong texture. Like this is the right texture and you can see it, it's kind of hard to see. Lucky pot now, money comes out of shit. There's all kinds of uh, little upgrades you get. And you know, there's damage upgrades, uh, crit upgrades, and they all affect your main damage, your crit percent. You have like a, I think a dodge chance. Yeah, invasion. There's a discount. And every time you keep all that shit, as long as you don't die and you go to the next dungeon. So you could become a fucking like beast easily. I, I recommend you stay away from the dynamite knives because when they hit something near you or land next to you, they blow up and they fucking hurt you too. Here's one of the bosses. I don't want to show you everything in the game. You really need to like, yeah, there's, damn bitch. I love dropping shit on people. He just shoots a whole bunch of slimes out of his fucking like, head. He's not super hard, but if he gets you in a corner, you're kind of stuck. Then you use the bombs against them. But all the bosses so far are, are a lot better and a lot more fun. I, I really recommend, there's a new version out that came out like a couple days ago. I haven't gotten around to try it. Um, there's a double thing. That's a bug. It shouldn't be up there. Fucking stupid chest. And that's like, oh, I can't reach it. But um, I really recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Again, the only game-breaking bug is this one you're about to see. And it's when you exit the thing, the game, or the dungeon, the shit just locks up and nothing happens. But overall, um, I suggest you give it a, a, a definitely a try. For side quest, free, it's in beta. The dev listens and uh, actually gives a shit. I recommend you need to, you know, you want to go play that fucking house flop flipper game that just came out? That shit's stupid. No. Go play a fucking dungeon game where you feel like a badass, alright? No one grows up and says, I want to sell real estate. No. You want to grow up and be a fucking warrior. This is that shit, alright? So like I said, side quest. Give it a try. It's free. Beta. Free. Keyword free, alright? Have a good day, you sons of bitches.